Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays U-Tune. So our fine avian friends here directing us in the way. Going back to the icy lands of Niflheim. Play no snowstorms this time. Perhaps a little less of a maze-like structure. Well, looks like it was pretty open on the uh, the main map there. Jormungandr's son of Loki and slayer of Thor. Oh, we have ice physics here. <laughs> that is slightly terrifying because I'm pretty sure that thing is a. Uh, giant worm beast of some sorts. We also have uh, like wolf paw prints here. I actually really like the footstep sound here. It actually sounds kind of hollow. And you get the crunching of the snow otherwise. So this place is just massive. So it looks like the uh, the right side is where our spell is for this area. Are these fish following me? Uh... That's... that's not good. Huh. Like a uh, fishing hole, perhaps. So, I have no idea where I am, in the grand scheme of things. But, uh... That large shadow does not make me feel particularly comfortable. Alright, well, there, we're at the... The far east wall at least, so you can probably follow this all the way up to uh Oh, there's a hole there. It's not actually on the map. I can probably follow this all the way up to where the spell is at least. Uh <laughs> um Oh, here it is. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, so that's like a... ...styrkur mjölnis. Heill sé þér Þór. Gó þrumi veður og hugrækis. Hail Thor, god of thunder and bravery. Power of Mjolnir flows through me. So, um, we've got kind of like a super attack now, perhaps. So this is all broken. Um, I hear the twinkling of the runestone. I, oh god. Uh, hello. <laughs> so that's the thing I was talking about. Both ruins of Issa. The winter Jotun lies dormant under the crust of the earth. Oh, we haven't found the apple yet, though. That's somewhat terrifying because it could be anywhere. I'm hoping it's just in a corner somewhere in the snow, but... Oh, what do we have here? Oh, that's actually a really nice view. 
surroundings. And I love when they do this. It's such a pretty view. Actually, just pause for a second and grab a screenshot of that. So, if I was an apple in a gigantic frozen lake, where would I be? I'm assuming it's got to be along the edge somewhere. Um, otherwise, it would be almost impossible to find. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do we have over here? Nine rivers. Their poisonous waters gave birth to Mir and the Frost Giants. Huh. Oh man, that's, so yeah, that's the other area there. Um, and that's actually the layout and the map of it. That's like the whole thing. That's like, that's a really cool perspective. Even the placements of the, uh, the breakable ice crystals and everything are the same as they were there. That's really cool. It's like they just zoomed out that map to use that, to get that image there. Oh, this still doesn't get me any closer to the apple, though. So where the heck is it? Interesting that we have snow this whole way down here. Well, up until this point. And it's so slippery that it's not like I have a lot of maneuverability here if I get in trouble. Yeah, like this. I wonder if I can take a swing at it. No, it doesn't seem so. Have I been over here before? These wolf paws make me wonder that's supposed to be a hint to where the apple is. I won't wander around here too long. Um, if I can't just stumble upon it here. I'll end up searching for it off camera and see if I can show off the location. Um, that's if there even is one. What is this? Oh, there it is. Try and get back here? Yeah, nice! That feels pretty good, actually. So this must just be kind of like in the lower left corner. Uh, oh, there we go, it's on the map right there. Nice. Uh, I do want to check that one, also this area is massive. I was actually walking for quite some time there. Oh, I do want to check that one last little outcropping. Hopefully not get eaten in the process. It didn't seem like I could attack our uh, giant worm friend, so. Yeah, all these wolf paws though. Yeah, I want to see if there's any more dialogue off in the corner. Nope, this is just the uh, the entrance. Oh no, it's just a... Uh... Huh. It is the entrance, I just can't go back that way. Alright, let's head on back and we can go to our boss fight.
We have our two runes. See what awaits us here, and I'm pretty sure I know what awaits us here for once. But I have no idea how to fight it, other than we do have that nice new powerful uh, thunder spell. Isa, Niflheim. Mm hmm. Is, Barun Frosts, Kirdar, Okr. Rune of Ice, Stillness, and Power. I guess it might just be Is, and not Isa. Listening to her proper pronunciation. Um, interestingly, I don't actually need that, so I'm not going to trigger it. Well, you know what? There's, for completion's sake, I should. There's really no reason not to. I was thinking maybe I could, you know, if I needed to come back here, but I don't think that's going to be a possibility, so. There's those wolf paws again. Those are gonna follow them all the way up. Are they wolf paws or is it like a bear paw? I actually don't know now that I think about it. Oh no, that's definitely a uh Oh. How's it going, pal? Oh yeah, <laughs> that that would probably piss you off, huh? How's it going? Oh, you have no idea where I am. I actually got interrupted there. Oh wait, no, I did hit him. Oh, I don't... That was weird. I don't think I used that ability right. Oh, I think it just charges up my attacks for a time. Oh, God. I, like, fell asleep. Or I knocked him down. That is super loud. Gotta get behind him here. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna fall over again. Actually, doing fairly well here. Now he's mad though. And it just got very, very dark. And he nailed me on that that hit there. Um, it is all ice. Alright, he's gonna fall here. Actually, using my magic to the, the full extent at the moment because he's going charge happy. It is super slippery and it is super hard to see here. Use a taunt magic. And get under him here. I think I got him. Oh. 
What a dramatic way to end. I've impressed the gods. Oh man, this is the first boss fight that I've actually done in one try. That was just like a total sight read. I actually feel really good about that. Screams of my companions and enemies are swallowed by the crash of thunder. Taste dirt and blood in my mouth. My clothes clung to my skin as I ran to my foes, burying the blade of my axe to anyone who challenged me. Through the storm, I saw my father in a dark silhouette behind him. I yelled out a warning, but it was in vain. Father was killed. Fury overcame me. Upon my father's remains stood my brother. My morning screams pierced the sky as I realized his betrayal. Sacrifice my brother's life to the All Father. Wow. Don't mess with Thora. Oh, let's be honest, he kind of deserved it. Well, it looks like next time we're heading up to here. I believe this is, uh, this room is Hagalaz. So we will head here next time. Actually, uh, somewhat short episode. One shot the boss, did very well in the exploration. A good time. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click like. Helps a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.